Guys, shield yourselves. As I turn up the volume of my headset. I swear this music's changed for this. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poem yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. I don't- Oh, I keep pressing space! Fuck it, it doesn't matter. I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Monica, you're listening to me right now, aren't you? Stop it! Please! Let me go! Can I actually save right now? Thank you. Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point! Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only thing cute about you is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful, you might cut yourself in that head, Jerry. Oh my bad, you already do that, don't you? Did, did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on, let Joseph hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh, uh, suddenly Yuri turns to me as if she just noticed I was standing there to the fucking static on the screen. Joseph, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. Oh, they actually move into each other now as well. Hi, Monica. How you doing? Um, hey, Joseph. Why don't we step outside for a bit? I love that she was self-aware of the text as well. Sorry, I just needed to reenact that little part. It's one of the gas points of the series. Oh, the, the... <laughs> Jeez, okay, um, how are you doing, Yuri? You're split in half. I don't think I've ever seen this before. <laughs> ah, hi, Yuri! I'm not sure if it's just me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little bit. If I'm being real here, I can't even tell if that was an actual glitch or a bug, or if, like, that was intentional. She's used to being ignored. Come on, we're going. Oh yeah, wait, fuck, in this act, she pulls me straight away from Natsuki, so even if I wanted to go with Natsuki to stay away from the crazy danger, like, it doesn't matter, like... Hey, okay, I heard a glitch and I didn't really see much. You know, I'm kind of scared to go to Natsuki. I think this is that part, but I'm gonna go to her anyway. Huh, well, it's not terrible, but it's pretty disappointing after your last one. Then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I'd be completely pissed. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I've read this. And then it's just that and... <laughs> stop. Stop! I'm speeding it up. Stop, stop. Ah! Oh, the, oh my god, the fucking... Uh, the, it still gets to my fucking spine. I love the way Natsuki just cracked her neck right in front of me and, like, shammied over to me. And, like, I'm still continuing, like... Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um, who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Whew, you've unlocked a spell. Yes, please, thank you. I don't think I've read this one. Uh, a dream. I was wandering an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room, its ceiling and walls beyond the deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side. Or to a wall. Anything. Suddenly, the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of intermediate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid, and the sounds of my splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. Oh, my mouse! Get off my mouse, Monica, please, I beg. It's the only thing I've left, wait. Okay, <laughs> just leave it outside of the screen. It doesn't count anymore. Okay, I'll leave it here in the bottom corner so you guys... Uh, yeah, I'll leave it in this chair so you guys can see it. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Was that Monica? Oh, it was Monica. Oh yeah, I just realized the top's going nuts. Ooh, okay. Uh, that's never happened before. Oh my god, that fucking tripped me up. Oh, the particle effects look so much nicer here, man. Such a pity this is gonna be such a fucked up scene after this. Oh god. Yeah, um... Monica? 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 Okay, thank god. Uh, let's try Natsuki again, because uh, Natsuki's the one I actually want to talk to right now, because she's the only sane one left. Oh jeez, I forgot. We're back! Um, hey Yuri, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. 
God, the HD version of this just looks so much more creepier, man. Holy shit. Uh, yes or no? Fine, yes, go on. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. You're telling me, Yuri. See, the thing is, right? I'm, I apologize in advance, Monica, but... Eh, if you give me the freedom of choice... Oh, it doesn't even matter when you're underneath. Just out of curiosity, I'm gonna try and click someone else. Yeah, that's what happens when you click someone else. Uh, yeah, Monica! Yes! I want to pick Monica. Let's go. Monica! I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are! Pulling Joseph away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It'd be really beneficial to your mental health. Oh my god. Oh, 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 I don't know if you guys hear that properly, but I hear these voices now. Or not voices in my head, but like in the game, I can hear these like, or I heard these whispers at the start. I'm sorry, Yuri. Oh, I, I didn't even get to choose. Oh my god. Oh. Let's go. Thanks, Monica. You came in clutch here with the skip option. Oh, I can't even skip or save or anything right now. You didn't even need to delete Natsuki. Natsuki didn't even do anything wrong at the end. She had the most perfect fucking reaction ever. Like, okay, yeah, actually, now that I realize it, I probably should just do that. I'm sorry, Monica. We got to speed this up here. Oh, this hurts. I'm sorry, Monica. I'm really sorry. Yeah, sorry, Monica. We're speed running this shit. The background here looks really nice. I know this is meant to be a depressing moment, but the background actually looks pretty cool. This is like an imposter year. Ruin everything, achievement unlocked. Thanks, game. I definitely haven't read all this already as well. Meow! Fucking speed through this! Meow! Well, it doesn't matter, Sierra, I'm sorry. Ah. <sighs> oh, there's subtitles. I don't feel like I deserve this ending, man. I literally have just skipped through the entire game, like. And now we have returned once again to here. Pictures, what's new? Ooh. Ah, those chibis look adorable, bro. Uh, we got more backgrounds. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we got this as well. The first concept sketch of Monica's CG in Act 3. The angle was soon adjusted to be a straight on to give the impression that the player is sitting directly across from Monica. I think on YouTube, someone was saying there's like seven different stories. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four. <laughs> We're still missing a lot. Yeah, let's do this. Finally, new content. 